A dolphin carcass floating down a tributary of Brazil's Amazon River. More than 100 endangered river dolphins have died since last year, when the region was hit by an unprecedented drought. For months, the natural climate phenomenon, El Niño, has been blamed for the decrease in rainfall, causing rivers to reach their lowest level in 120 years. But a study released this week found that human activities, such as deforestation, cattle ranching and corporate farming, have played a pivotal role in reducing the Earth's capacity to retain water. The lack of precipitation and high temperatures that lead to a more evaporation and, and drying even more fast. So we call this a drought that is an agricultural ecological drought. Then uh, when we analyze that, then uh, a climate change played uh, a much larger role. Scientists cite the unprecedented death of river dolphins to make their case. In the past, they have survived droughts, but last year they died because of the high water temperatures. The water temperature was very high at the end of September, when 70 dolphin carcasses washed up. In certain moments, the temperature exceeded 39 degrees. The average in the region of the Lake Tefe is 29 to 31 degrees Celsius. The drought also affected more than half a million people living in Brazil and other five South American countries. They depend on the rivers for transportation, food and the delivery of medical supplies. Scientists say this drought is more widespread and has affected the northern part of the Amazon basin, home to untouched areas of the world's largest tropical forest. In regions where uh, in the edge uh, to the south, uh, where the forest is already a little bit more used to droughts, then they have some uh, developed some some uh, um, ways of uh, for being more resilient, like say have longer roots that goes deeper and stuff like that. But in this pristine area, they don't have. So if we start having droughts that reach this pristine area, uh, the the forest can actually uh, uh, be affected, uh, and uh, we have the problem of uh, being a tipping point. The solution, the study says, is to stop burning fossil fuels and reduce carbon emissions. But whether that will happen in time to avoid future disasters remains to be seen. Monica Yanakiev, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.